Central East European countries have a kind of inheritance of the communist era, the regulations are largely com enforced. So the, in comparison to the developing countries in Africa, Latin America, or Asia, the non-compliance is quite low. It ranges from 1% to 2% of full-time workers in Bulgaria, Czech Republic, to around 7% of full-time workers in Latvia, Lithuania, Poland. And in actually several countries, there was an increase in the incidence of minimum wage violation during the Great Recession of 2008-2010 but later the incidence of non-compliance declined. In principle, minimum wages should protect the weakest workers. Those who are on temporary contracts, lack experience, or youth, uh, enter the labor market, more often women than men. And at the same time, if we study the, the entire region, we find out that it's actually the weakest workers who are most likely to be underpaid. So people on temporary contracts working in small firms with less than 10, less than 20 workers, uh, women are also much likely to be underpaid than men. So there is this challenge for, for the minimum wage policy that the groups who are supposed to be the first to protect are actually the first to, to be not covered by the policy at the same time. So currently, to report uh, the violation of the minimum wage and being underpaid worker, you have to provide all your personal data, file a claim to the labor inspectorate, and then most likely deters people from reporting violations because they are afraid they're gonna be stigmatized and then the employers will know that they were the whistleblowers. So I think it's crucial that the countries move into simplified system of reporting violations so worker workers are not afraid of actually complaining about the labor standards. The policy that I would recommend for the region is actually to introduce a system of letting people know which companies are not uh, complying with regulations. It's been implemented in several emerging economies, but also in the UK, which recently started publishing the list of companies who are not complying with minimum wage and actually they uh, also tell people what is the amount owed by these companies to workers. And I think that this kind of name and shame campaign are relatively cheap and hopefully efficient way of increasing compliance because which don't really involve spending a lot of public money on, on, on labor inspectors, on trials uh, and on enforcement in the factories. It's rather about deterring people from breaking the law. Mm -hmm.